beautiful people. Welcome back to a really, really, really warm, lovely evening in the garden. Uh, it's been triple digits. <laughs> Yesterday we hit 109. It's about 96 degrees right now. Um, so it's very, very warm, which is, of course, making me think of cool water and beautiful tropical places. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about some sparkling stencils that we're going to be teaching at Fluid Art Boutique. Uh, this is one that I did when I was just playing really this was a straight pour that I had had I think I did it a few months back and I used these two koi stencils on here with my this little piggy pigments and I just I love the way it turned out and you guys were really really positive about it when I showed you guys on Facebook and Instagram so I wanted to show you guys in person HOA can you kind of get like close up so they could see the scales and all that and the, the shimmer on the piggies like that beautiful stuff and this was Athena and Horizon and Ore and uh, maybe a couple other ones, but it was a lot of fun. And I wanted to talk to you guys about stencils because it's a really, really wonderful way to take your pores to the next level, embellish, if you will. Um, this was a nice pour and I really liked it. It wasn't fantastic, but it was, it had some really, really good parts. And I just, I love what the stencil is doing. I love that it looks like deep water and I love that all these gold cells look like bubbles. So it turned out really, really cool and I think really enhanced the pour a lot. So I wanted to show you that one with the koi. And tonight we are going to be doing pretty much the same thing. I have another pour here that I did. I will show you. This was really fun. And I actually have the video from when we shot this. I will put that in here in a minute on super fast mode so you can see how we actually poured this one. But this one turned, it was really, really pretty. It was a sandwich pour, Echeveria in there, and some of the other This Little Piggy colors, which turned out really, really cool. going to do some stencils on here tonight. I want to show you which ones I have because I think they're really, really neat. So the biggest one that we're going to be using tonight is the sea turtle. And I think he's really, really fun and really awesome. And he also came with a baby sea turtle. <laughs> I knew. And then I found some really pretty like um, seaweed types of things and corals and things like that that I'm really excited about using. And of course a few little shells, some fish. A crab. <laughs> There's another coral. I don't know if I'm going to use, you know, and just some little seashells. So we have all of these wonderful stencils to play with, and I'm going to put them on that canvas first. We're going to tape them down and kind of decide on our composition, and then we're going to use our this little piggy pigments that I have a whole array. <laughs> and tonight I'm using Golden's Extra Heavy Gel Gloss. Okay. okay. This is the fun part also, is deciding where everything goes. So this part kind of looks more like water to me than this. So I think this is going to be the top and this is going to be the bottom. And as far as the turtle goes, I think I like his head like right in this little blue part right there. It seems to fit pretty well right about there and have him swimming up like that and then have some of these longer seaweed fronds down here. I really like this one there. That one's so pretty to me. I really like this little one too. And maybe a shell over there. The baby turtle. Where should the baby turtle go? Maybe there? Behind yeah. mama? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, you know, a sort of little starfish. I love this little crab. It just cracks me up. He's so funny. I thought I had a seahorse too. Yeah, I have a little seahorse. Because <laughs> I'm so shiny. Yeah, right? And a couple little fish. 
actually they would go that way okay so I think that's probably enough to put on there to give us a pretty cool composition and we can repeat them again you don't and I have cut them out you'll notice because they did come on a sheet similar to this and then I just cut out the ones that I want so I have some painters tape and I'm gonna start with that when you do cut them out don't cut it very very close to the stencil itself leave some room on there so that you can tape it down where you want it and you're not going to affect the stencil itself. I'm going to go around it because I realize I'm not the neatest person in the world when it comes to this. So it's always better for me if I have a little bit more tape and less chance of getting any gel gloss or anything on my canvas. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, if you want to do a good job, you want to be neat with it. The more I play with painter's tape, the more I like it. <laughs> for making edges, for holding things down. Good stuff. Well, the great thing about pa painter's tape is that it's not very, very adhesive, so it comes off of things easily mm -hmm. and doesn't pull the paint up. Exactly. Well said. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. So now we have everything taped down. I have that one little one, last one too. Let's see where should we put him? Put him next to the other scallop shell. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good so far. So, <laughs> all right. So now we are ready to start applying our gel gloss and our this little piggy pigments. I will show you which colors I am using. Okay, all right, so these can move over now. That looks pretty cool. All right, so we have a whole array <laughs> of piggies to choose from. <laughs> and I have mixed some up already that I will show you now. So this one is a combination of tail feather and galaxy. Really pretty, beautiful blue-green. And galaxy is the black, and I put a little bit of the black in there just to deepen it up just a little bit. And then I have asparagus. There's this one, and it doesn't, a little weird looking right now, but it does dry like this, which is cool. Okay. Then I have sea glass, which is now empty, but is beautiful, beautiful color. And I have parakeet, which is very cute. And I have ore, which is gold. And then I have Twinkle. Where's Twinkle? There it is, Twinkle, which is very cute also. So, okay, let's move that out of the way also. Okay, and then I have an assortment of palette knives in different sizes. So let's go ahead and get started. So all I did with this was take some of the heavy, extra heavy gel gloss and put it in one of these cups. And I put about half a teaspoon of piggies in there and mixed it up all really, really, really good. So, the first thing that I want to do, I'm going to kind of use this one with the point on it, is let's see, we want his shell to be darker than him, right? So I'm going to take some of this tail feather galaxy color, and I'm going to start with his shell. Just kind of being careful about where I put that and smoothing it on. You can leave as much on there as you want, but you don't need a whole bunch. I'm just kind of going to go around the perimeter first. 
and then I'll see if I want to make the center of it a different color or the same type of thing. I don't use very, very much at once. Start small. You can always add more. Here. And this is just the first layer. We're, we're going to have some color on top of this also. But this is just to give me the base that I want and hold the shell down. And when you're putting your gel gloss down, don't push really, really hard. You want to spread it, but you don't want to, like, you're not trying to subdue it. <laughs> you're just moving it around a little bit. Gentle, gentle, even pressure. Okay. So I think I am going to do the middle of that one also, and then we'll put some other stuff on top of there too. Now this one's thicker than that. Well, obviously, because it's the extra heavy. <laughs> okay. So that's his shell with the first coat on there. I'm just going to dip the paper towel with some water and just kind of wipe it off like that. Thank you, H.O.A. It's what I live for. Okay. I think that's the only place. Alright. Alright, let's move on. I really want to do these fronds and I'm going to use that tail feather color to do that. asparagus and some of the sea glass. And put some asparagus on this side.
Okay. I think we are ready, HOA. Did we get everything? I think we I did. think so. Okay. I'm going to take the gloves off because it's actually easier to do this without gloves on. And then we get one of these handy dandy stir sticks from Fluid Art Co., which is actually perfect for this. I'm going to loosen the tape. And while you're taking the tape off, hold the stencil down. Pretty little fishies. <laughs> okay, now let's start taking this tape off. Too, apparently. Okay. Very cute. Very cool. Let's see where we touched it a little. I'm actually not that worried about it. It kind of gives it some texture. Okay. Apparently we made a mess over here too. But that's okay. I'll clean that one up. Here's our little crab friend. He's cute. <laughs> Can you do a turtle with hot rod pines? I'm not sure they could do anything you want, babe. Okay. Let's go over here. Hold it down. Get to the big guy. I'm gonna actually turn this around just to minimize the possibility of me touching it down there, and then we'll take a look at it. Get some of this tape off. I guess I hold the stencil down as you pull the tape upward. You don't want to pull it sideways and rub it across what you've just done. If you've done that, it's very frustrating. If you overlap the tape just a little bit, like I have here, a lot of times more than one piece will come up. So, okay. Are you ready, husband of us? Oh, there's one more. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? All right, lass. Here we go. Mm. Mm. So very cool. Okay, so that's pretty cool. 
Um, notice it's not nearly as busy as it was when we had all that tape on there and now we have an opportunity to look at it and we can actually if we want add some more. I'm actually thinking of putting that one back down and putting another layer or two maybe one on this side and maybe one lower just on the top and the same thing over here baby. What do you think HOA? Or maybe put another one of these over here. I mean I do I do agree with you about the one on that side. Over here. Oh, I was talking about the, the long skinny the long one. Skinny one yeah. I could do that on the side, like have it come off. Yeah. And turn it around. So I'm just gonna take this scraper tool right here and just hold on to it. And literally just scrape that right off. And I'm gonna use that same paint on the fence. So let's put this maybe here. And I'm just going to use this straight from the thing that I just scraped off. I'm just going to put some right on there. Look how bold you are. No tape even. There's tape on this edge. Scrape it again and then flip it over. I don't know if I trust it, that's clean enough. But I do kind of want to put one of these over here. So again, I'm just going to scrape this off. I'm going to use the back of the palette knife this time. Let's see. Put that right there gently. glass on this one. Just be careful around the edges. with one of the darker colors. that there's like two different colors on there. That's cool. What do you think, HOA? I like it. I think we need another one over there. Maybe we'll do one of these. Kind of overlapping them a bit. I really like this one. I kind of want to use this one again too. Let's scrape that one off. Maybe over here. Mm -hmm. 
facing the other direction. Is it clean enough though? No. Let me get a paper towel with some water. I'm just going to wipe it off. Designs that are under that stencil are they getting? Messed well, up? I'm sort of hard. betting on the fact that they've started to set up just a tiny bit because it's so warm. But yeah, theoretically, if I was pushing hard, they would get smushed. So don't push hard. So I think something that'll give it. Um, depth perception is if the ones in the back are darker and the ones in the front are lighter. Yeah. So that's Parakeet. And you can get all your this little piggy pigments from fluidart.co. They have a whole bunch of awesome stuff over there. We're gonna put a little bit of twinkle on top of this one. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So. Can you spin it around? Yes. I was just about to do that. Here is our sea turtle. With the kelp forest underneath him. Some little fish, and a crab, and another baby turtle. I, like I really like how that seaweed stuff turned out. I really like the layering that we were doing. And uh, I probably would want to do some more. But <laughs> this turned out really, really neat. I will show you guys when it's dry. In this heat, it's probably going to be dry in about 45 minutes to an hour and some of these colors are going to start to show up a little bit better. I will show you guys in the sun when it is dry tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is the next day. <laughs> I love how this turned out. It's so cute. Our beautiful big turtle with his shell and the tail feather and a little bit of galaxy and some parakeet and some ore and asparagus on his flippers. Which I'm happy to say it is actually the color it's supposed to be. <laughs> so this turned out really, really fun. I'm just loving all these little bits. A little turtle down there and a little fish or the seahorse. I really, really like the way that the seaweed came out. I think that's got to actually be my favorite part. Layering it on top of layers. Hey, right there is just so pretty to me. I love that beautiful. This was really, really fun. And all these gorgeous piggies. Of course, that twinkle in there, which is the iridescent shifty one, parakeet and oar, and tail feather, and sea glass. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Really, really fun. So this was awesome. I'm very happy with how this one came out. I'm loving what's happened with the stencils. I think it really just took that pour to a completely different level with the embellishments on there. And I really like how it's all layered down there. Really pretty stuff. So this was fun. This was for our sparkling stencils. So I hope you guys will check out our website at fluidartboutique.com. And if you're interested, please sign up for the sparkling stencils class because it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, it's just, it's such a nice outlet for creativity because it's not the same as what we've all been doing with pouring for the longest time. And really kind of takes you back to that childlike, fun, almost kindergarten feeling where you were finger painting and just having a good time and didn't care about the outcome. So it's really nice to be able to get away like that once in a while and just see some very cool, of course, I love his flippers. 
<laughs> They're just so cute. This one is awesome. So, this was awesome. Please check out our website, Fluid Art Boutique. There are early bird discounts until September 10th on classes. Uh, so I really hope we see you guys there. Thank you so, so very, very much for all your lovely, lovely comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.